Welcome to Salon Scheduler video number six. This is step six, setting up your customer online scheduling. So let's just get started. Okay, if you've uh, finished steps one through five, if you have any questions about those, make sure you text us 469-269-2053. Let's get those out of the way. And then here you are, you're ready to, to finish up your online scheduling. So what you wanna do, tap on the scheduler, tap on the three line menu, tap on settings and let it do the audit. Again, that audit's important because we pick up any changes to your Clover, um, Clover system. Okay, tap on Merchant Settings and Online Scheduling. Okay, when you tap there, you're gonna set up some different options here. Okay, first option is, uh, first, number one and two are if your bank accepts Amex and Discover, okay? Three is hard service breaks. You'd turn this to yes if you have break times in your services that you don't want to be schedulable, schedulable by customers online. Normally that's no, okay? Employee first booking, you wanna usually leave this a no um, because we use uh, normally service first booking where the customer picks the service first and then they pick what services, after they pick the services, they pick the date. And we have an algorithm that figures out the best customer, I'm sorry, the best employee, like the one who's the least busy uh, on that particular day and we offer that to them. And you remember, you can set that, you can set employee favoritism, like how much an employee is favored on that algorithm. But again, leave this a no, unless you really need to pick, you want the customer to pick the employee first for sure, okay? Book head hours, if you set this to, for example, 12, then the next available appointment will always be 12 hours in the future. This would be like, if you don't want people booking the same day. Okay, book months window, it's two months is it how far someone can book ahead. If you make this too far ahead, then people forget about their appointment. So you probably wanna keep it limited. Cry, require card on file. If you want to require that your customers leave a card on file so you can charge them if they're a no-show, or if you wanna charge them a deposit up front, or if you want them to pay the full price up front, make sure this is yes. Okay, charge deposit at time of booking. This would be if you want to charge like 30% at the time of the booking or even 100%, like you want them to pay for all of their services, make sure this is set to yes. If it's set to no, then we're only going to keep a card on file. And then you can charge that card on file using the no-show button on the appointment or using the charge deposit on the action on an appointment, okay? Enable wait list, um, you wanna leave that at, at no for now. We're not actually finished with that feature. Default deposit, late, no show charge. If this is 100%, that means that the customer is gonna be required to pay 100% of the, of the uh, service fee if they're a no show and you, you decide to charge them, okay? If, it's set to, if number nine is set to yes, then we're gonna charge 100% of the deposit at the time of the booking and we're gonna ask for a tip. Okay, so that's really important. So you can get customers to prepay their services if you set this to 100, you set the charge deposit to a yes at the, at the time of the booking, okay? Um, if you put a coupon code, like for example, if you put XMAS, Xmas, then online in the note, if the customer puts that coupon code, then we'll give them a percentage off when you actually check out the appointment, okay? Online hour increments, this means that if you set it to 60 minutes, that means that customers can only book on the hour. 30 minutes, they can book every half hour. 15 minutes, they can book every 15 minutes. Okay, so this is what's offered to the customer. Okay, last thing, you can actually get employee-specific links. That means that each employee gets their own booking site, and we can put a, a picture of each employee on their own booking site if you want them to have that option. You can also just get the main online scheduling link by tapping here and putting in your phone number will text you the link that represents your website. And if you're wondering, how do you, what do you do with that link? Well, you know, you add a book now button to your website. When you add a book, uh, any kind of button to a website, there's what's called the action, like what happens to the, to the, what does the button do when you click the button, okay? And our link that we give you, that becomes the action for a book now button, okay? So that's how the, and so when they click book now, it'll take them to the, your booking site that we host for you. And then after it takes them to the booking site, then it will, um, when they're finished booking, it'll take them back to your website that they came from. Okay. So that's how it's going to work. Now, if you have, uh, if you want to customize your booking site, see on this info, help contact us. 
Um, we actually send you, if you do text me getting started info or email me getting started info, then what happens is, you know, right here, we'll send you a, 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 a either a text message or an email, depending on what you choose. And see right here, this is your link also. So you can just get it if you want to cut and paste. This is your link for your customer online scheduling. Also, if you want to customize the picture that's at the top of your online scheduling, send us your picture of your salon to help at appheaven.us. That's the email on that um, on that uh, that email address on that email, and make sure it's long and thin, like a happy birthday banner. If it's not, we're going to cut it for you and we'll make it long and thin. Okay, but so and then if you want to customize the text at the uh, at the top of your booking site, just send that custom text to us at help at appheaven.us. If you have other needs associated with it, just email us help at appheaven.us. We'll be glad to help you figure out. If we can, you know, we'll let you know if we can do your what you need or not. Okay, but so again, this this email address will help you be able to customize your booking site, and um, and then so when a customer goes to book, they're going to be able to book. The appointment will appear on all of your devices, and it'll have a little uh, computer icon next to it to let you know that somebody booked online. Okay, if you change that appointment after someone books online, then we're going to change that picture. Of that we're going to leave the computer picture, and we're going to put the words mod meaning that that appointment was modified after it was booked online. Now, a couple more questions to answer about your customer online booking is, um, you know, if somebody books online, then again, you're going to be able to tap on that appointment. And if they have a card on file, you're going to see a dollar sign in front of this no-show. So you can charge them the amount that they agreed to on the, as far as a no-show fee. Now, that's important as far as, uh, you know, charging the amount they agreed to. It's important for chargebacks. Because that way, if the customer disputes a charge, you can you can fight back by telling the credit card company, your processor, that they did agree to the charge amount. Okay, but again, if you want to charge them some other amount, um, or if you don't want to charge them for a no-show, you don't have to. Or if you want to charge them some other amount, you can tap on this action, and you're going to see a collect credit deposit with the card number right there. If they have more than one card number, okay. So you're going to be able to do that if you ever need to. Okay. The other thing you can do is if somebody needs to schedule online. And um, if a customer calls in and they um, and they need to be able to be scheduled, but there's already there is already booked, and you want to put them on a wait list, you can do that. You can tap on the you can tap on anywhere, and um, you know on the on the employees column, and set the customer name, their uh, date and time of the appointment, and the services offered. And the only difference here is after you pick a customer. Instead of choosing to schedule that, cu that, that customer, you can choose wait list, okay? And what that's gonna do is it'll put a little ghost appointment behind the real appointment so that you know that there's somebody waiting for that particular slot. And um, you'll also be able to see that if you tap this icon right here, this little hourglass icon, okay? That's gonna show you all the, all the people that are on the wait list. So you can, and if you tap on the, on the ghost appointment that's a wait list appointment, you'll be able to convert that into a real appointment. Okay. Eventually, we're going to make that appointment available online, but that's something that um, you know that's useful if someone's trying to schedule online and everything's busy, that they can call you and you can schedule them, or you can just post them as on the wait list. Okay. So after you've uh, set up your online scheduling, I'm sure you're going to have some questions. Uh, just let us know. Text us at 469-269-2053. Let us know that you've completed step six, which is the video on customer online scheduling. And uh, text us your questions. Like, what are you, what are you still wanting to know about that? Um, or if you just like us to call you and you want to discuss your questions relating to your customer online scheduling, just text us and say, "I've got questions," and we'll call you back. We'll discuss your questions relating to the online scheduling. This video will hopefully help give you a big boost, and you'll know how to operate it and know some of the features that are available with the online scheduling.